Hello, good morning. This isn't morning drinking, it's grape juice. Well, um, so after we filmed last night with trying the Pioneer Red, um, I actually wound up keeping drinking it and keeping pouring myself a little bit more. I actually grew to quite like it. Um, so now that it's had even longer to breathe and it's the morning, um, we're going to try it again and see how it, if it's still decent. And if it is, I'm going to probably firmly put it into category one. Okay, this smells a little bit funny now, though. I won't describe the smell until after I try it. It's drinkable. I think it was better after it breathed a little while last night than it is now. Because, honestly, I mean, the taste isn't bad. The smell, here. Try it. No, it tastes isn't bad. It smells like olives. Something else that I was thinking of. Okay, by olives, I mean it's that smell of a combined olive bar in a grocery store that's been open to me. Mm, that's close to what I'm thinking. It's okay. It's not... I mean, I don't want to spit it out, but I would not... I would mix it. I think I'm going to make some sangria. Um, cause this seems like it'd be quite good for that, uh, especially given the way it smells. Okay. So to me, after a night of being open, what this smells like is a compost pile. Mm, a little bit, yeah. Like someone who actually bothers to eat right and has a compost pile. Yeah. Like that. So like fruits and earth but in the decaying fruit kind of way. Um, so it's not bad, but um, it's not great. So last night, if I, so it's probably best that I did this now. Uh, if I had done this last night, I probably actually would have given it a one by the end of the night. Um, but now I'm, I'm going to give it a two. Uh, so basically sticking with the grading that we gave it yesterday. Um, and unless you're looking for a sangria wine, unless you're looking for a sangria wine, perhaps like this. Like this. Fish is full of down there. It's actually already better. So, um, Pioneer Red. Uh, bueno para sangria. Uh, en la mañana no bueno para uh, be bad. Um, so on that note, uh, and terrible Spanish grammar, um, you'd probably almost do it in Greek now though. I, I think I might do the next one in Greek. We should do a Greek one. We should see if we can find a Greek one. Okay. The oh, last time we so, did a Greek wine though. So, uh, update also while I have you, um, is that, so our binnies, where we get these wonderful bargain bin bottles, 
Um, that is, is the last that came from the actual bin. This is the last one that we got that came from the bin. Uh, it's now a shelf. Uh, but Benny's bargain shelf wine doesn't sound good. Um, and Benny's bargain wine is probably what it's going to be. Um, so we're yeah. still going to call it Benny's bargain bin wine because I like the alliteration and it's just fun to say. Bargain wine. Or bargain wine. Send us your stores. So, long story short, um, we're probably going to open this up to be beyond just Benny's, uh, to be the bargain wines, uh, that are basically those bottom shelf wines that you can tell have been marked off to a lower price, um, might be because they're not selling, it might be because they're absolutely awful, but we're willing to find out, and by we, I mean, hey now, I always try it. That's true. And by we, I mean us. Myself and my favorite disembodied voice. I love you. Um, so, uh, that's probably going to be a change coming soon. Um, but uh, we will have a, another video coming up very soon of the seasonally appropriate Witch's Brew. Uh, which is a Leelanau cellar, so it's from the Leelanau Peninsula, which I've had several wines from Leelanau, and I tend to really like them. The interesting thing about that is it is a spiced wine, so it can go one of two ways. Um, we'll find out. So, um, I'm going to enjoy my sangria, um, and... Categorize this firmly as a number two. Uh, that if someone gave a bottle to me, I would gladly drink it. Uh, heck, if, even if I found it cheap again and I bought it myself, I would drink it that night um, and wouldn't let it sit. If you're looking for a sangria that's cheap, though, and you come across it, it does make a good sangria. So, with that, uh, there is our update for this bargain bin bubble. Um, so, until our next video, uh, there you have it from Benny's bargain bin bottles, soon to probably just be bargain bottles. Beyond bargains. Beyond bargain bin bottles. There we go. Anyway, cheers, uh, and we'll see you soon at the bottom of a, uh, or maybe just the top, depending on how good it is, of a bottle! <laughs>